Shea Bear 1000 here. There's something missing right here. Can't figure out what it is. Let's check it out together. Okay guys, sorry for the wind noise, but yes, as you can probably tell, I was being sarcastic. The head is not on here, and the head is not on here because the gasket did not come in. Well, the gasket did not come in. I ordered it the 13th, today's the 19th, and it did not come in because it wasn't shipped out till today. Now let me show you something here. Estimated delivery, Tuesday. October 19th that is today but I got another email today look at that new estimated delivery Saturday October 23rd Wow okay so let's check this out okay so now look at this October 13th 2.34 p.m. Alright. Tracking number provided. And there's the pre-shipment. It awaits the item in Valleyhead, Alabama. Shipping label created. October 13th, 4.34. So I bought it. I paid for it at 2.34. And at 4.34, the shipping label was created. October 19th at 12.32 a.m. Origin Acceptance, Valleyhead, Alabama. They did not ship this thing until 12.32 a.m. today. It was supposed to be in today. And there it is. It went to Birmingham, Alabama. It's in Birmingham, Alabama. And it departed Birmingham, Alabama at 547 today it was supposed to been here today now why why do you create a shipping label and you cannot get it in the mail in six freaking days because it's standard mail they could not even put it in a see right there shipped today estimated delivery Saturday estimated they created a shipping label six freaking days ago and they couldn't even put it in their damn mailbox it took them almost a week let's just say a week to get it in the damn mailbox you're kidding me so now this has got to wait another week now of course I did send them a message well actually I sent them a message the other day asking where my head gasket was and I've never heard anything I guess my topic today is what the hell is wrong with eBay sellers you've got to be kidding me a whole freaking week after the shipping label was made it was created all you had to do is throw it in your damn mailbox so of course anyway I sent him a message now this part's not true but I told him I said look I rebuilt this engine and the only thing holding me up is the head gasket and the head gasket's supposed to been here today and it's not and now it's not even arriving until Saturday which is the day I have a big bass tournament okay I still haven't heard back but that was just a little while ago but this is ridiculous to have to wait on this now let's go to rant number two so you guys might remember this carburetor we put on here last week well they wanted pictures I can send them a picture of a leak but I couldn't send them a picture of a surgeon so asked me if I wanted a refund or a new package I said well you know we'll give just just send me another package because I need the carburetor it's already paid for just send me a new carb so they did and here it is wow nice and pretty huh let's put you on the stand here nice 
Never been used. Choke is working fine. Yeah, but the throttle is jammed closed in the <clears throat> I cannot move that look that should be flipping flapping like this and it's not I can't <clears throat> I can't cannot physically move re, move it down in there I don't know if you can see it but the butterfly is jammed in there unusable now I sent them a message last night because this came in yesterday they wanted to see a picture after I explained to them what was how I said how do I send a picture of something that is jammed and not moving are you serious they sent me another message today please send us a picture helps us determine how the fuck can a picture show that this thing is not moving? So I sent them a picture. There. Pointing at it like this. There's your problem. Right there. So I'm going to wait to hear back from them. So my question is, what the hell is wrong with society? What's wrong with people nowadays? You spend your hard-earned money, we'll get you when we get to you. But by God, as soon as you order that thing, that money comes out of your card. And if you got a refund, you got to wait 10 days for it to show back up. It didn't take them 10 days to get their damn money. What the fuck is wrong with people? Fucking stupid ass people. There's no sense in that. I got $40 tied up in two parts. One ain't even here yet. It's a week past from the time it was supposed to have been shipped. It was supposed to have been here today. It wasn't shipped till today. So I'm not going to get it until the... Till possibly Saturday it may not even come in Saturday this part here you know $15 $16 I know it ain't much what do you expect well for you haters out there I expect something that I fucking paid for it's supposed to work it's supposed to be good and it's not and that's two of them so yeah that's what I expect I expect when I pay for something I don't care if it's 50 cents it better do what it's supposed to do you know if $16 tied up in that thing and I still can't use it. I can't use either one of them. I got a gasket, $20 gasket that, that's, you know, what, where's it at? I don't even know where the fuck it is. Yeah, I'm a little fucking pissed off. What is wrong with society? What's wrong with people's heads anymore? Just take people's money my God, back in my day, a handshake and a thank you was all we fucking needed. We kept our word. We're going to send you something. We sent it, and we sent it early if we could. No, oh, not nowadays. And I bought a bunch of carburetors off of the, this company and never had a problem. I think they changed their supplier because I went on their website, and it's not the supplier they used when I bought the other carburetors. Because I've, I've bought several weed eater carburetors, chainsaw carburetors. I bought a carburetor for the scooter. Never had an issue till now. So I got to looking at the reviews. Oh, they got a shit ton of great reviews. But there are three pages of bad reviews. And half of them pages are the same exact carburetor with the same exact fucking problem. This is bullshit. God damn, man. People are so fuck. It, it amazes me. How do you get through life, you know? Jesus Christ. Anyway, so sorry about the rant. But... You know, eBay's starting to suck too. Amazon always has sucked. I, I'm always getting stuff late from Amazon. It's ridiculous. I mean, you can't even go buy a carburetor. Shit, 20 years ago, there was shops in almost every corner. You could just go pick up a carburetor you needed. Not now, no. No, well, they got to order it. You go to a shop, they got to order it. And then it comes in, you get it, and that's what you get. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Shaber, I'm gone for now.